Buckeye Nation, what is going down, guys? Oh, IOs down in the comment section below. Man, so much is going on in the world of Buckeye football. But before we jump in, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget to ring that bell and join the Noti squad. So let's start off with the big news from Friday. It's official. Justin Fields will be playing this year for the Ohio State Buckeyes. The transfer quarterback has been deemed eligible to play next season for the Buckeyes, and that's huge news with Fields officially in the mix. That gives Ohio State four QBs on the roster. You got Matthew Baldwin, Chris Chuganoff, and Corey Curtis. Fields and Baldwin I trust, but the other guys, not so much. To be real with y'all, I think Fields is going to be a huge upside for the offense. His running ability opens up the QB run game again, and this kid has a cannon. It's going to be fun to see what he's able to do with this group of wideouts that we have coming back. Now we jump to recruiting where the official signing period is over and the class of 2019 is ready to hit campus. The Buckeyes picked up some impactful players this year. I think DN Zach Harrison will have some playing time his freshman year, but everybody seems to be excited about wideout Garrett Wilson from Austin, Texas. He's 6'1 and is a playmaker. And from the interviews I've seen, Wilson and Fields are already becoming passing buddies. But I think the biggest concern going into this next season is going to be our offensive line. We're adding four new offensive linemen this year, none bigger than Dewan Jones from Indianapolis. This dude is a monster. 6'7", 350. Then we picked up Enoch Vahimi. V Vamahi? Vamahi, I think that's how you say it. Uh, he's another guy. He, we got him from uh, Hawaii. He has an interesting story. He'll play his freshman year, then go on a mission trip for two years and hope to come back and finish his career as an Ohio State Buckeye which I think is dope that they're going to honor his scholarship even after he gets back from his mission trip. With the new influx of players coming in, you know there's going to be some players that are going to get ready to leave. And with Tate Martell already transferring, we have two new Buckeyes that announced that they will be transferring. Keandre Jones, linebacker, and running back Brian Sneed. First, let's talk about Sneed. Uh, he was in trouble for most of last year, and now he's headed to a JUCO to restart his career. It would have been tough for him to see playing time this year behind J.K., Master Teague the third, and Demario McCall. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Sneed going forward. And linebacker Keandre Jones has decided to leave as well, mainly used on special teams. He came into Columbus as a four-star prospect, but didn't really get a ton of playing time. The Buckeyes will see him again real soon, though, because he's going to be transferring to Big Ten rival Maryland. And I know we're a few months away from the football season and, you know, spring game and all that stuff. But there are some Buckeyes that are on the field right now. Uh, if you guys didn't check it out, last night the American Alliance Football League kicked off, and there's a few Buckeyes that are showing off their talent. Whiteout Jalen Marshall will be playing for the Orlando Apollos. He actually caught a touchdown and threw a touchdown last night. You got tight end Marcus Ball. He's going to be playing for San Diego with the fleet. Former offensive lineman Chase Ferris, DN Tracy Sprinkle, and corner Duran Grant will be playing for the Atlanta Legends this year. It's dope because we get to see these guys actually playing in the pros and uh, getting ready to show off their talent to maybe get that call up to the NFL. And we're also getting ready for the NFL draft where our guy, Dwayne Haskins, is reported to be the top quarterback on everybody's draft board. Mel Kuyper has him going, I think it's six to the Giants. But also, Terry McLaurin, his stock is rising. Uh, he was in the senior game this year, and he put on a show in practices burning cornerbacks, making them look bad. So in all, I think I read somewhere that we could have at least four to five Buckeyes drafted within the first two rounds. Nick Bosa, of course, going number one. You got Dwayne Haskins, Paris Campbell could be going, uh, Draymond Jones, and then you have Terry McLaurin as well. So uh, the Buckeyes will be sprinkled into the NFL draft this year, and I'm excited for their future. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this week's Buckeye Talk. Comments down below, which recruit are you most excited to see, and how do you think that Justin Fields would fare next season with the Buckeyes? Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new, and don't forget, you get those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Twitter, Instagram, and the Facebook page at Big C Got Game. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Buckeye Nation, stand up. OH, IOs down in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.